They're not for me, they're for someone else. You can't sell me one can of chew. I come in here all the time. Come on, for me? Okay, the yellow sign is posted, so now what? Could I have a pack of cigarettes, please? A pack of cigarettes, please? Uh, a pack of cigarettes, please. A pack of cigarettes, please? You can count on it. If you sell cigarettes or other tobacco products, you will be approached by minors who want to buy them. But if you make the sale, you are subject to fines and possible prosecution. Washington state law is clear. Every person who sells or gives or permits to be sold or given to any person under the age of 18 any cigar, cigarette, cigarette paper, or wrapper, or tobacco in any form is guilty of a gross misdemeanor under civil penalties. But I'm over 18. But I'm over 18. But I'm over 18. But I'm over 18. Can I see your ID, please? Retail clerks can be fined $50 to $100 for violating this law and even lose their job. Retail store owners can be fined from $100 to $1,500 and they can lose their license. These are tough laws and tough penalties to be sure and they are strictly enforced. The State Department of Health, the State Liquor Control Board and local public health and enforcement agencies conduct unannounced random checks to ensure compliance with the law. These checks consist of underage operatives working with one of these agencies trying to buy tobacco. If you do sell tobacco to minors, you will get caught because state and local agencies take this offense very seriously. But why? We've all seen young people socially smoking on a street corner. You may have kids of your own who sneak a cigarette now and then. You may have even smoked as a minor yourself. Is it really such a big deal? In a word, yes. One in four of our kids use tobacco, many beginning as young as 12 or 13. 7,000 of our young people will begin using tobacco every year. One of three of them will die prematurely. More than 2,000 of those kids will suffer early, very painful deaths from cancer, emphysema, heart disease, and other killer diseases. So it's particularly important to get to them before they get started. Very few people take up tobacco past the age of 18. That's where you come in. Along with parents and teachers, you are on the first line of defense. You can help save the lives of our future business owners, artists, and doctors, and help them live long, healthy, and productive lives. So with your job, your business, the health of our young people, and even our future economy at stake, we ask you to be fully committed to the effort to stop the sale of tobacco to minors. Here's Liquor Control Board Officer Becky Thompson. She has some tips for being compliant with the laws of selling tobacco products. The Liquor Board, along with local tobacco prevention programs, offers training on how to comply with the law. The Liquor Board also teaches classes on proper ID checking. Clerks can check with their managers on how to get this training. If you aren't sure, don't sell. If you do make that sale, you could be making a decision that could cost you and your store. Washington law allows you to refuse to sell tobacco products to any person who doesn't have a valid ID and who you're not absolutely sure is over 18. What you have to tell a person that tries and gives you a fake ID or tries to purchase tobacco when they're underage, first thing is that the answer is no. You can't sell it to them no matter what. It's illegal. And you got to be confident but polite. Check the photo first. Make sure it matches the person presenting it. Check the date of birth on the ID to make sure the person is 18 or older. Remember, most fake IDs are borrowed or found and don't resemble their true ID. So don't hesitate to ask for a second piece of ID. The first line of defense really is the person here selling the product. That's really going to make the difference. Remember, if the ID is not valid or you're not sure, don't sell. Most customers will accept your determination and not make a fuss. But sometimes they will do almost anything to convince you to make the sale. If a customer is overly persistent and I have not determined that they are of legal age to purchase tobacco products, I stand my ground. If a clerk mistakenly makes an illegal sale, it will definitely encourage other teenagers to come to that store to purchase cigarettes. The store and or the clerk will be known as easy marks and an easy target for teenagers to come to the store to purchase cigarettes. All tobacco retailers must post the Department of Health warning sign at each point of sale. Signs are bright yellow with black print. They're available free of charge from the Washington State Liquor Control Board. 
That sign warns the customer they must be at least 18 years of age to purchase tobacco products and that photo ID is required. As a retail clerk, it's your job to assure the customer has valid photo identification. There are several types of photo identification that are acceptable for tobacco purchases. With the new digital Washington licenses, anyone under 21 is issued a vertical card instead of horizontal. This feature makes a card immediately recognizable as an underage document. Every under 21 driver's license or ID shows the date when the individual turns 18 or 21. That feature is located on the lower left of the card below the date of birth. Washington State ID cards are meant for those who don't drive. The new cards will have the same features as the Washington driver's licenses. They are digital with a color image on the front and two barcodes on the back. The only difference is they will indicate ID card at the top. If a customer's Washington license or ID card has expired, he or she must show a valid temporary card. That's the interim paper copy together with the expired card. Punched licenses are also acceptable if the card is not expired and the punch is not through the photo, date of birth, expiration date, or signature. An official U.S. military ID, including active duty, reserve, retired, and dependent cards, come in many styles and colors. The expiration date is on the front. The date of birth is on the back. While the signature is embedded and not visible to the naked eye, the card is still acceptable for tobacco purchases. A valid passport issued by any nation has a photo and is not expired. An out-of-state or Canadian province driver's license or ID card must be an official card issued by a U.S. state or Canadian province. Do not accept other forms of ID such as birth certificates, school or work identification, social security cards or other ID cards. These are not legal for proof of age. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. I always ask a customer for ID in tobacco sales if they're under 25 or if I have to hesitate and give them a second look, I always ask them for their ID. Will, Will you take, take a note from my mom? mom? Sorry, no sale. Remember, we're all in this together. It may not always be easy to say no to minors, but by complying with the law and refusing to sell them tobacco products, you could be saving your job, your license, and their lives. Thank <laughs> you.